Bottle priming. Uh, this is an essential part of your bottling day where basically you take a sugar of some sort and you add it to your beer and this allows the beer to carbonate. There's many ways of doing this and there's also many different types of sugars you can use. Some people use dry malt extract, some people use table sugar, some people use uh, corn or cane sugar. One of those is table sugar anyway. Um, some people use molasses So, um, and also some people use honey as well. So there's lots of different types of sugar that you can use to bottle prime. Today we're going to be going through the process of what I consider to be the most straightforward and the easiest way to prime your bottles, and that's, that's to, uh, to batch prime. Some people actually take sugar and they add it to the bottle with a spoon. In my personal opinion, it's hard to get this accurate. Every single bottle is going to have a different carbonation level. Um, I don't like it because it's not consistent. Other people um, buy carbonation drops, uh, which are like very small sugar cubes and you add them to each bottle when they carbonate at a specific um, carbonation level. These are great. Um, they're very practical. However, they don't give you much flexibility. If you want to change how carbonated your beer is going to be and you've already bought them, you've got no option but to go with that. So for me, this offers the most flexibility. It's the quickest, it's the easiest, um, and I'm always going to do it this way and always have. So what are we using? Well, we're going to boil up our sugar to make sure it's sanitised to go into our bottling bucket. So we've got a very small saucepan here. We've got our sugar, dark brown muscovado cane sugar, one of my favourites. Um, we've got an electronic um, measuring device just for make sure, making sure that we get our measurements right. I've got my phone with an application called Pocket Brewer on it. Great little application. Uh, it tells me how much priming sugar I'm need, gonna need to put in, depending on my temperature and other, many other things which we'll come to in a minute. Now, if you're gonna boil it up, it requires a certain amount of uh, water. Um, it doesn't have to be dead accurate. Uh, in America, I think it's two cups they generally use, which is the equivalent of roughly about a pint. So, to begin with, I'm gonna take a pint of water I'm going to add a pint of water to the saucepan and we're going to start to bring this to a boil. While we're doing this we can measure out our muscovado sugar. Uh, I'm actually in the process of bottling an English pale ale. Um, especially cask pale ale doesn't have a very great deal of carbonation. Um, on the science side, it's probably going to be around 1.5 volumes of CO2. So that's what I'm going to go for. So we use the Pocket Brewer application. Uh, click on carbonation here. So CO2 wanted. 1.5 volumes. Let's say that. Beer temperature. Um, I've measured it. Very low. But I can't wait any longer to do this. 14.5 degrees Celsius. Beer volume. We should be bottling around 23 litres. That tells us that we're going to need 62 grams of corn sugar, 87 grams of DME, 59 grams of cane sugar, or 70 grams of honey. While that's boiling up, let's get this measured out. 59 grams, let's just say it's 60. So once this has come to a boil, which it should do in the next five minutes, we're going to add our sugar and we're going to let it boil with the water for not long doesn't need to be long maybe uh, maybe just five to ten minutes what we're also going to do afterward is I'm going to take a bigger bowl we're going to immerse this in it uh, and create an ice bath to chill it down to um, pitching temperature into the bottling bucket somewhere around kind of 23 degrees okay we're boiling now let's turn this down a bit it doesn't need to be so vigorous in goes the sugar Just like brew day, guys, watch out for boil over, I promise you. Because it, it's going to happen if you don't take it off the heat. Now what we're going to do is essentially a mini ice bath like you would do on brew day. I'm going to kill the heat. Okay, so I've transferred this over to a sanitised Pyrex measuring jug now. Um, and I've just popped it into this bath of pretty much... Um, cold liquid. 
and I have just literally put that plastic onto a hob. Oh my good days. Okay, and that has now been transferred over to the freezer in some ice water, so our priming sugar is dealt with, guys. So in a moment, what you're going to see um, is basically us transferring this over to the bottling bucket. I cannot believe that I just put this onto a hot, a hot um, stove. Plastic. I put plastic on here. What a complete moron. We're about to put the primary sugar into our bottling bucket. Firstly though, I'm going to dispose of the sanitizing solution. Priming sugar. Have a little look. She goes in. Trying not to cause any splashing whatsoever because we don't want to oxidize the beer in any way. So, in other words, just pour gently, you know? The lid goes back on until we're ready to siphon now. That's it on priming sugar, everybody. This has been a very vague video with a few little mishaps, including melting a plastic container on the hob. Um, but regardless, happy, brew, happy Home Brew Wednesday and thanks for watching.